everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Nova Westworth, and today we'll be doing like a bunch of different things, but before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for 30 subscribers. I've never had that before, so I'm like really excited about it. Also, just to be clear, like I always say, I don't make videos for kids, so if they're swearing or if I mention like animal cruelty, like it happens, I'm not a child, you know? So, yeah, regardless, like, let's have fun, let's play Star Stable. So, I made a list of things I want to do today, but first, let's go to Silverglade because they updated it. I'm, like, really excited. Oh, what did I just do? Oh. There, okay. I got really confused. Anyway, but let's go to Silverglade first because they updated it. I guarantee you it looks like that town in New Hillcrest. Maybe. I don't know. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, the wall is gone. Oh my god, wait. Oh wow. Oh, it's like it's own little, like... Oh, this is really nice. Wait, where- what? Oh, this is really cool. I have no clue what I'm seeing right now. This is very interesting. It's like a- Oh, it's like Town Square. Or something. I don't know. It's really nice. It's a lot to look at at once. Oh, there's a little house over here now? What is this? Oh, wow. This is really... Wow. This is different. Wow, I didn't expect this. I expected it to be like... Who was that? Oh, it's Daxton the Tailor! They moved everything. Wow. This is really interesting. I like it. It's just a lot at once. Oh my god, wait. Did they update Marley's too? No, I thought they would. Did they not? No, they didn't. Okay. Wow. It's really... This It's just very shocking. I didn't think they would add so much. There's a little swing set! Oh, they should have had little kids on it, right? Yeah, they should add more of those, like, people. Like, you know how they have, uh, NPCs? I think it's that's what they're called. Yeah, non-playable. Yeah. They should have had, like, NPCs walking around. Because this is really nice. This is really cool. I have no clue where to even look. This is so interesting. Is this a clubhouse? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, that's really nice. That's really cool. I really- Oh, did they update, uh, Steve's farm? I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, who's that? Oh, hot potatoes. Oh, it's an older store. Okay. Yeah, it's really cute. This is so interesting. Wow, I'm not- listen, I really like it. I think it's really, really good. I'm just, like, so shocked they got rid of the wall that went around the village because I was- I'm just so stunned because usually they have, like, a wall around things. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, yeah, that, that, this is amazing, yeah. I really like it. But, you know how, uh, I'm gonna go to it. So, by- before you go to the, uh, castle- there used to- you could just walk through. There wasn't, like, a house over here. Yeah, everything is different now. I wonder how the Silverglade Championship is, because everything is, like, moved. Oh, they're- like, the roads are different now. Wait, is that a pasture? Wait, oh my god. I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, there's chickens! Wow, this is- this is so cool. This is really cool. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what is that? Wow, they said update. Oh my god, wait, you know how the car? Oh, I missed it. I wanted to know where the car, does it go, still go over there? Anyway, so next up, I know this was added in, like, I think last week or something. I don't really know the exact date. But it's Pride Month, guys. It's Pride Month. So we're gonna go to the, uh, you know that, like, the cloud, the hot air balloon? Uh, Minka Stone Ground, yeah. So, let's go check it out. I've been trying to save up Yorvik shillings to buy some of the pride tack. Oh my god, wait. I saved up almost 10,000, and then I have things I could sell to, you know, afford it. But, yeah, let's get into this. Oh yeah, I also have my pride ribbons from last year, so I have the, 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 like, bow. They're bows. I said ribbons. Yeah. 
for the tail and the mane, which is really cool. I'm so hyper today. Oh my god. So, I wanted to get this. See, what I want to do, I'll get the leggings first, because the leggings are really cool. We're going to get the pride leggings. And we're also going to get the pride... I want to get that. Let me sell some things. I'm going to sell my bottle and shorts. Wait, how much is it? 8000 Okay. I really- I also wanted to get this because it really matches. I, I can't really see my screen right now because of the light from my window, but yeah, that's- that's the outfit I really wanted. I want to get this so bad, but it's- first of all, why is it 150 or uh, white star coins actually? Why is it so much? Yeah, I'll just sell these. I know it's not gonna equate to 5,000 Yorvik shillings, but whatever, I'm still gonna sell them. I could just come back another day and get the full set, but yeah. We got the pride outfit. I just need to get the shirt now, because I really like the white one with the rainbow on it, so yeah. Also, Fort Pinta has a little, like, gay party. I love it so much. My owl is, like, jittery. Do you see that? Not me trying to recycle everything. Okay, so this is- oh yeah, no one's here right now, so that's sad, because I really wanted to- yeah, but if you get off your horse and go over to it- this is so sad, I got so excited and there's no one even here. Yeah, but because we're on the topic of uh, gay pride, pride month, trans pride, anything related to pride, gender, whatever, I know there's always that one person in the chat who was like, why are we celebrating Pride Month? No one cares that you're gay. Just stuff like that, you know? But the reason why we celebrate Pride is because we're celebrating how far we have come in overcoming oppression. If you're part of the community, if you are gay, if you're trans, if you have ancestors who are gay or trans, or identified as other parts of the community, you know that gay conversion therapy has happened. Abuse, murders, stabbings, being put into psych wards for being gay, like a lot of messed up things have happened to the community over the past hundreds of years. Like it's it's been going on for a long time. And the homophobia has been going away, as we could tell, but that doesn't mean that it has stopped, you know? There are still people who are being tortured and executed for being part of the community again, it is not as bad as it was 50 years ago, but there is still people who are in, like, gay relationships and they'll get stabbed by, because of, like, holding their partner's hand. And some homophobe saw them and was like, that's gross, and decided to kill them, you know? And I know someone's gonna say, well, straight people get killed too. Yeah, that is true. A lot of straight people get murdered all the time. But the thing is that Straight people don't get murdered for being straight, you know? Gay people are being killed because of homophobia. And even if you don't get murdered or killed, you know, like uh, stabbed or something, you know? There's still lots of oppression because there is lots of trans youth and gay youth, or anyone in the community, really, identifying as whoever they identify as. And their families will kick them out because they're homophobic or transphobic or just phobic in general, okay? And now we have a bunch of LGBTQ plus youth who are now homeless. And if you are not feeling oppressed, if you happen to be just a person who is in the community who never really dealt with homophobia or transphobia or whatever else, and you just want to celebrate you and accepting yourself, you could definitely do that because it is very, 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 very hard to accept who you are in a heteronormative society. But yeah, I hope everyone is safe and well, and if you do happen to be part of the community and you would like to come out to your parents, please do so if you know you will be safe. Do not come out if you have any suspicion right now that you could put yourself in danger. I know that sounds kind of rough, but you don't want to be homeless. Like, if you want to come out eventually, go do that, but please only do it if you know you'll be safe, if you know there's a backup plan of some sort, because 
a lot of us love to think that our parents will love us un like unconditionally. You know, they'll love us regardless of anything, but that's just not true for a lot of cases. So, like, test the waters first. Maybe, like, ask how they feel about the community, just something, because you don't want to tell your parents, hey, this is who I am, I can't change it, and they kick you out. You know, it's, it's a really hard topic, but regardless, happy Pride Month. I hope everyone's okay. Okay, so let's get into this. Listen, people... I don't think I said this yet, but I really like the Percheron horses. That's why I got this... What breed is this? The Finn horse. I got the Dapple Gray Finn horse because it looked like a Percheron. You know, I love Percheron horses. I've been telling Star Stable for years on Instagram, on their like customer support, whatever it is, feedback, that I love Percheron horses. And they, you know, it takes time to, for them to listen. And also, not going to listen to just one person, you know? But... I guess enough people have spoken up because guess what? We're getting Percheron horses in the game. And if you don't want to see the spoilers, like, you don't have to, but I will put them on screen most likely. But yeah, they look amazing. I love them. They're... I... They're so good. I can't wait. Also, I said in my last video that Star Stable is releasing dragon horses, and I showed the little clips of them, and... The dragon horses, apparently, I was upset because I was like, I just spent all my star coins and now they're adding dragon horses and I'm not going to be able to afford them and they're probably one time only horses and I can't get them ever again. But apparently they're coming out in August and right now it's, well today for me it's June 16th. So we have June, July, August. So it is enough time to save up star coins, probably not enough time to save up like all I would need to get two of them, but I don't know. I didn't calculate it yet, and I also don't know how much they'll cost when they eventually come out, so whatever. But yeah, that's in case anyone was really worried about them. They're not coming out until August, so you do have time to get star coins. You do have time to save up. Anyway, so I was supposed to do training, but then I got like thrown off guard, and now we are doing archaeology. Yeah, while well, I'm just running around trying to get the gold, let's just talk about wolves because I try to spread awareness on different like animal rights topics. And yeah, if you know, earlier this year a bunch of wolves are being hunted because I know a lot of people are like, oh well it's population control, and it really isn't. Because listen, if you have a wolf and like a you know, a bunch of wolves, a pack of wolves, and you say, Well, it's population control, we have to prevent the wolves from hunting our sheep and hunting our cattle, but then you go and hunt those wolves, you're gonna make them go and hunt your cattle and all your livestock, because when wolves have a smaller pack, they can no longer have the strength to take down elk, so now they're literally forced to go onto your farm and get all your chickens and sheep. So, great job, you just played yourself. Like, that's literally so stupid. This happens with coyotes as well. People are like, well, it's population control, so let's hunt the coyotes down, right? But then when you kill off a bunch of coyotes, they're going to panic and they're going to be like, oh no, we're lacking family. So they'll literally produce double. I could be wrong, but it, I know it's a lot more than they usually would. Because when you get rid of coyotes, they're like, we got to make more. And then people are like, well, what if we like relocate the wolves, first of all? How are you going to gather a complete pack of wolves or coyotes and move them? Because if you move an animal, it's going to try so hard in its life just to, like, get back to where you originally found it. Like, overpopulation control is good. No, it's not. Listen, a lot of overpopulation control that's used for hunting wolves is actually trophy hunting in disguise because they take these wolves they hunted and they put them on their wall or they end up selling the fur. Like, it's money. They do that for money. I don't know, people like... They're scared of wolves. A lot of people are scared of wolves. I've had nightmares before of being attacked by wolves, okay? But realistically, a wolf isn't gonna kill you. Wolves are terrified of uh, people. And a lot of wolf attacks that happen, it was because the wolves were starving, because their pack was hunted or down, you know? Or just other things too. I'm not saying walk into the forest and trust wolves, but I'm just saying it's like wolves are not as bad as the media plays them out to be. 
Like, I saw a video a while back ago, this lady, she went to the forest and she was, like, walking through Yellowstone, all alone, by herself. She wasn't even on a trail, she was, like, walking in woods, like, she was in a forest in the middle of nowhere, in Yellowstone, like, there was no one around, no trails, nothing, she just walking by herself. And this wolf came through, and she's standing there, and she's like, what do I do? And the wolf didn't see her yet, and then she was like, hey, wolf, you know, to let him know that he sh uh, she's there. And the wolf looked at her and was like, what is that? And ran away. Wolves don't want to be around people, okay? Like, I'm not saying they're like the safest animals, but the media makes them seem like they're these monsters who will destroy you and your kids. But it's not, that's not reality, you know? And there was a lot of uh, wolf killings that took place in the 1900s, 1800s, because people thought that wolves were going to take your children away. And there was wolves who were taking children away and eating them, but that was because the wolf packs are being hunted to extinction. Like, we lost a lot of different wolf subspecies because of hunting. And again, when you take a whole pack of wolves and hunt them down to nothing, they don't have the strength to take down elk or any other big animals, so they're forced to go look for smaller prey. So people are causing their own problem, honestly. So yeah, if you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm letting you know that I do have a, my, I have my own apparel line, so it's all surrounded around animal rights, you know? So for example, I have shirts that spread awareness on saving wolves, or saving lions, or saving dogs, saving cats, saving horses. Especially horses, you know, because like, I love horses. But, yeah, I made this shirt, I made a few actually, that, that were inspired off of like, helping coyotes, wolves, and foxes. Because if you didn't know it, like, wolves are being trophy hunted, wolves are being hunted for population control reasons that aren't even population control. Coyotes are being trapped and they're being hunted very violently. It's very, very sad. People hate coyotes for no reason. Everyone hates coyotes because, oh well, they're scavengers, that's the reason, which actually is a very bad reason because you need to appreciate coyotes. They are scavengers, a lot of them, but when you have roadkill on the sides of the roads, it's like, dude, you should want the coyotes to come and get that because sanitary reasons. You don't want roadkill laying there. You want a turkey vulture or a coyote to come get it. There's a reason why these animals are in our ecosystem. Also foxes, if you are aware, probably by now, that uh, a lot of foxes are being kept in battery cages and they are being bred to become fur coats. A lot of these foxes are skinned alive and that is obviously very, very painful. Like. It's very graphic, it's very bloody, it's very, it's just, it's disgusting, it's very, very cruel. And obviously I want people to know, like, do not buy fur products that come from fox, do not buy fur products that come from coyotes, and do not even, like, bother touching wolves, like, leave these animals alone. So I have these shirts now that I designed based off of these issues, so... If you were to get the long sleeve, it is made out of very nice material, and donations will be made to nonprofit environmental organizations. And the Eco T, it's a t shirt, <laughs> it is made out of four recycled RPET bottles. So, very eco friendly. I believe I have a hoodie as well, but it's been out of stock for a while. I'm trying to get it back in stock, it just takes a while because the material and all that, but if you want to look at other things on my shop, you definitely can. But yeah, spread awareness, because when you wear things that you stand for, it spreads the word. Like, you gotta put in people's heads, like, let's not kill foxes, you know? Because like, every winter, like, on my local, like, TV stations, they're like, go buy some fox fur, fresh fox fur for sale, keep warm, like, shut up, I don't want to hear it, it's so stupid. Like, yeah, let's go buy foxes, like, what the hell, so dumb. Like, you could buy synthetic fur, you could buy fake 
prefer? Like, what do you think I wear? Like, you think I'm gonna go and buy a coyote jacket to stay warm? No, I'm not doing that. That's dumb. But, yeah. Oh, by the way, um, <laughs> I was talking before about, like, the whole, like, wolf thing with the shirts and the stuff that I make. Yeah, it's in the description. I always forget to mention that you can buy it on my shop, but, yeah, it's in the description. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I think I'm getting tired, so I think I'm gonna log off. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you again for 30 subscribers. That is, like, so cool to me. Also, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I got, like, kind of angry this time, which, yeah, I try to not get angry. But people, like, really bother me. Like... I just, I don't like it when people kill foxes or kill wolves or coyotes, like, that should be very understandable, you should not be okay with people hunting animals like that, you know? But, yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week, so yeah, bye!